Are you ready? Hope you are. In this video, this might possibly take us two videos. I'll see how long this is and if it gets a little bit longer, I'll split it in half. But we're going to go and install MetaMask. Exciting, right? Let me remind you the browser that you need to use. Remember the browser I told you this in the last video? In fact, there's two browsers you could use. You have to use the browser either Chrome or Brave. So make sure you're using Chrome or Brave when you search the web. And then let's go to the web and let's install MetaMask. So let's jump over to Google right now. And here we are. I have to put my glasses on for this. I'm at that age now where I have to wear a pair of glasses when I do stuff on the computer. I want you to search for install MetaMask and it will always be the first result. Here it is. And let's click on the first result. And this is what you're looking for. The site looks like this. At least it does at the time of making you this video. MetaMask.io. I'll also put a link to this uh, below this video. So we're going to download this. Uh, so we simply click on download now. Um, and we want to install it for Chrome. By the way, you can install it on your phone as well. You probably don't need to right now, but if you're on an iPhone or you have an Android phone, there's the iOS, the iPhone um, download, and the Android download up here. But for most of us, we're going to install it on our laptop or our desktop. So simply we click here, install MetaMask for Chrome. And what we're doing is we're adding an extension to our Chrome browser. So clicking on that link will take us to this page. Uh, we simply click Add to Chrome. We, a little dialog window will open. Let's click on Add Extension. That's pretty much it. We do need to do a little bit of uh, security. Well, quite a lot of security in a few moments. Uh, there we go. MetaMask has been added to Chrome. OK. Now, automatically, it will then take us to this page here. And this is where we actually get started and set everything up. So let's jump in and do all this. Let me spin this around. The old MetaMask fox follows us around. I think it's a fox. Uh, right, let's click on Get Started. So, we're being told it. Are you new to MetaMask? Uh, I suspect most of the time you're going to say yes, but let me quickly talk about this. It says here, no, I already have a seed recovery phrase. Now, MetaMask, as I said, is uh, an extension that you add to your browser. So, if you want to add your MetaMask to another computer, or if you buy a new computer, or if your computer crashes, you can reinstall it or add to another computer at any time. Uh, and when you install MetaMask for the first time, you're given a secret recovery phrase that you want to save. Do not lose this phrase. I can't emphasize enough. MetaMask don't have this information. So if you lose it and then your computer crashes, you, you will not be able to get back into your MetaMask. Or if you want to put it on another computer, you will need this phrase. So write it out, keep it somewhere safe, don't lose it. OK, we'll come on to that more in a few moments time. But this is the first time we're setting it up. So we're going to click here where it says create a wallet and a few little things here just to read. Uh, just click I agree. Now, creating a password. OK, so I'm really big on making my passwords really, really difficult. It goes without saying I want you to do the same. This is what I do when I create a password. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. I literally will do something like this. So literally, that will be my password. Uh, so obvious gobbledygook. And also something I do, you don't have to do the following. This is taking it a little bit further, but I'm really big into security. And we just want to be really, really careful. You know, if somebody, for example, I doubt this would happen, but if somebody, you know, did happen to know where you save your passwords, let's say on your computer, and they knew this was your MetaMask, then they could log in. Unlikely, I know. What I tend to do is I always tend to, like, add... Often it's like five characters in, and I just remember this. I will add like one, two, three, four, five characters that I know are not part of my password. So I know when I copy a password or put it somewhere, I will remove these when I copy it, and it will just be the first bit and the bit afterwards. I know that's going a little bit over the board, but that means if somebody did actually ever see my password, they'd never know that there's a certain number of characters. It's not, the five, it's not these five, by the way. I'm keeping it obviously to myself, but I know that there's a certain number of characters and I know where they are and I do it in all my passwords. So that might be something you might want to do. I know you might be thinking that's a little bit overkill, but better safe than sorry, right? Uh, anyhow, for now though, uh, I'm going to save this. And also another good practice to get into is anytime you do anything, always save it. Meta, mask, oops. password. Okay, so here is my MetaMask password, a mixture of characters, upper, lowercase, all that sort of stuff. Boom, boom, create. Okay, we are getting there. Wonderful. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's continue this in the next video. Let's keep this video, you know, not 
don't want this to go crazy long. We'll carry on installing MetaMask in the next video. See you there in a second.